Remember that the panelists here today, like so many others who have struggled with TB, are survivors. Our challenge, either as journalists or as advocates, is to encourage people to keep looking, to make people understand that the people we see in the pictures or read about in the articles and the issues that they're dealing with are part of the same world and the same reality that we live in. Anyone can get TB. Talking about this disease was trying to break down a big barrier of stigma because you just don't talk about it. The communities and the patients are not empowered enough to actually understand why they should be able to take their drugs consistently. But I want to thank you because I've been able to speak on behalf of the voiceless. When my daughter was five years old, um, she was diagnosed with primary complex, which I had no idea what is primary complex. And I just found out with my doctor over here in the States that that's what they call TB for the children. I didn't know that TB can almost kill her. Uh, these two children are really hard time in my life. TB is curable. It's important that all of us go out there, spread the message about TB, and give the necessary support that is needed. And uh, through that, our children, they wouldn't have to go through this. Now, today, USA is the lives of many MDR patients in Africa, so I want to say thank you. We have the means to eliminate TB, and yet we're not doing it. Break down this culture of silence that promotes TB transmission. The global community must do better. It's not a problem of Africa, it's not a problem of Europe or of Asia or only America. It's not a problem of the poor or the rich. As long as we all share the same air, it becomes everybody's problem.